Those of us that may have opinions and views that we cannot, we certainly can't express those as freely as we would have uh, done in the past. Even to be in possession of material without even sharing it. Anybody can get a knock on the door, a warrant from the Gardaí, they can come in, search my home, search everybody that's in my home, take all their devices, take all our computers, take any material that is relevant to them that they see to be relevant to the case. Taoiseach Leo Varadkar recently said that some of the submissions through public consultation tend to have a kind of a coordinated aspect to them. In your experience of the concern from the public that you've seen expressed through emails, what is that like? Is it actually, does it seem like it's coordinated or does it seem more organic? Uh, it's definitely more organic and certainly you would um, during maybe the mother and babies, uh, homes, uh, legislation that came through the, 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 the Shannon and the Dáil, a lot of those emails would have been copy and paste. This particular legislation that's going through the Shannon at this, mo at this moment in time, or will come before the Shannon um, within the next month, definitely all the emails that are coming in, in, in at this moment in time are all individualised there. I, I'd say maybe 2 to 3% of them would be copy and paste, but the rest of them are all individualised with names at the bottom, some have even got addresses and telephone numbers. So the public are very concerned about this. Um, and my advice is to anybody that is concerned, remember the power lies now with the senators and particularly those senators that are in power, the Fianna Fáil senators, the Fine Gael senators and the Green Party senators. So they are the people that need to be lobbied here. And indeed the Sinn Féin senators because they voted too for this bill. So if you are, annoyed about what's going to happen and the future that you're going to have in relation to free speech in this country, you need to get active. And you need to get active and engage with your local senator in your county um, and ask them how they're going to vote on this legislation and are they going to put down any amendments to it. What is the likelihood of there being heavy amendments to it? I think the, a lot of the amendments will come from the opposition sides. I, I can't see very many um, amendments coming from the government side. I could be uh, surprised by that. Um, there are some very good um, senators there, the likes of Barry Wall, Mary Celia Carney. They may, may see what we are seeing at this moment in time and decide to put down their own amendments on what we've seen. And uh, the government will likely take their amendments more so than ours. But, you know, I welcome amendments from the government parties here on this. I welcome them to get engaged and um, see how this legislation can be improved. It either, it either has to be improved or it has to be scrapped. What is your chief concern with the bill, the way it is worded at the moment? It's, it's very chilling for those of us that may have uh, opinions and views that we cannot, we certainly can't express those as freely as we would have uh, done in the past. Um, even to be in possession of material without even sharing it. Uh, I can get a knock on the door, um, or anybody can get a knock on the door, a warrant from the Gardaí, they can come in, search my home, uh, search everybody that's in my home, take all their devices, um, take all our computers, take any material that is relevant to them that they see to be relevant to the case. I then, or an individual then, has to prove themselves innocent. Um, these cases don't come before the, before the courts for maybe two, two and a half years. We know how... how taken up the courts are at this moment in time with the number of cases that are there and it'll be two and a half years before you'd even hear a case and that's far too long for anybody to prove, the, prove their, their innocence in, in a matter like this and then if they're found guilty then it's like 5,000 euro fine or, or a year in, in prison so it, I think this legislation that they're bringing in is certainly just um, to try and keep those that have dissent uh, on the government uh, issues uh, to keep us quiet.